Joe Porker Iron, who should be higher on this list? Top seven in backfields in the NFL. Let's overall see this and see if I agree with this. Alex Bellanty, what do you think about this overall, though? Joe Porker Iron, number seven on this list is the Broncos. Javante Williams and Melvin Gore in the third. Very good overall list, and this is, they're underrated in my opinion. I agree with this part, and they deserve to be right here. But overall, where would you rank them? I think seven's a good spot for them. I don't think they're one of the best, but I don't think they're one of the worst. The overall seven makes sense. Joe Porker Iron, number six on this list, the Titans, Derrick Henry and Hassan Haskins. Some people are saying that they should be on this list, which is ridiculous. Derrick Henry really carries it. Hassan Haskins isn't good. But overall, Derrick Henry has probably been the best running back in the NFL for at least three to five years already. So, of course, he's going to be one that has on this list. And really carry Hassan Haskins to be at number six with the Titans. But overall, what do you think about this? And what's your opinion on this list? Do you agree with it so far? I agree with the number six. I would say if Hassan Haskins would be better, he, he would probably be number one on this list. But overall, he isn't. Richard Borgadier, number five on this list is the Cowboys. Ezekiel Elliott and Tony Pollard. I don't think Zeke was the one once player he used to be a couple years ago. He was probably one of the best backs in football. Right now, I wouldn't put him in the top ten. Tony Pollard is very underrated overall. And could be better than Zeke right now. But overall, what do you think on this list? And where would you rank him overall? I agree with this at number five. I think that's a good position for them. And they fit right there. I feel like a lot of people would probably underrate them. But five sounds good to me. I think the Cowboys are probably going to run the ball a lot more since they lost Amari Cooper. But what do you think about this season for the Cowboys? Joe Burger Iron, number four on this list of the Vikings, Dalvin Cook and Alexander Mattinson, which doesn't make sense. Alexander Mattinson was very good when Dalvin Cook was out, and he really made a lot of improvements. Dalvin Cook's probably one of the best backs in football right now. I'd say at least top five, top ten at least. So there's no way he couldn't put on this list, and this is a good place for the Vikings overall. I think they're run the ball. Ball probably less than he did last year. I think Justin Jefferson is going to get a lot of targets this season. Number three on this list is the Colts. Jonathan Taylor, Name Hines, and Philip Lindsay. I think Philip Lindsay, in my opinion, really puts him at number three. And really just makes their backfield a whole lot better. Jonathan Taylor, a lot of people will say, is the second best back in football right now. So there's no way he's not at least top five with the other running backs they added this season. But overall, what do you think about the Colts and their winning? Joe Borger, with no one's surprise, number two on this list is the Packers, Aaron Jones and A.J. Dillon. In my opinion, I agree with this. They're at number two, and this is probably the place they should be. I don't think they're better than Kareem Hunt and Nick Chubb, but overall, probably one of the best running backs in the NFL right now as a tandem, and really not, not that hard to stop overall. A lot of teams have tried, but the running game is very good. Number one is the Browns with the second best running back, or the third best running back, Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt, a very underrated running back with Zernus Johnson. Who was really doing good when both of them were injured, so the Browns are the best, and I definitely do agree with this. A lot of people have been saying this for years, but overall, what do you think about this list?